Blameless Maraud, one of the most mysterious yet influential individuals in Horizon's known world. Evasive yet disarming, personally I find Maraud to be one of the most fascinating major political players in the present game. Though clues concerning anything about his past are frankly almost non-existent, we will delve into what we know of the Karja culture at large, as well as dialogue from the man himself to hopefully create the most sound hypothesis we can concerning the Blameless One. Let's begin with what we can confirm about Maraud. In the Collector's Edition Game Guide, specifically the section concerning the Karja agent Vinasha, we come to know that Maraud's official title is that of Spymaster. This evidently would point towards his value to the kingdom being in the acquisition of valuable information, much like that ascertained by Maraud concerning Derval in that respective questline. Beyond this, much of his personal history is left up to speculation, beginning with his position in the strict hierarchy of Karja society. Being that Murad is evidently not a man of the Sun Faith, the next rung down on the social ladder would be a Karja noble. This, however, may not be his given status, as Murad has shown disdain for the nobility of the tribe in the past. Once stating to Aloy as she was escorted past them to meet with the Sun King, nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. If Murad isn't a Karja noble, and with no evidence pointing towards a military background, this would most likely originally place him in the realm of artisans, traders, and merchants. This then poses the question, how did a man in a culture where one's position is predominantly determined by birth ascend to the Sun King's inner circle? I think this answer lies within the history of the Sundom's expansion. Though the Karja have always had a formidable military, in the Collector's Edition game guide we see that influence and political savvy were the chosen tactics of the tribe to gain advantage over their early rivals rather than direct conquest. Where they saw poverty among the other tribes, they introduced trade, generating gratitude, and fostering dependence. Where they saw chaos, they created order in the form of puppet rulers or Karja advisors. Where they saw disunion, they sowed rivalries, keeping potentially unifying clans or warlords at each other's throats. When they saw weakness, they attacked with raiding sorties, or merely threatened to do so, then demanded tribute for forbearance. Judging by Murad's propensity for political manipulation and subterfuge akin to his schemes of defection by the Dowager Queen Nasadi and her son Itamen from the Shadow Karja, it seems more than possible that he may have once been one of these Karja advisors, working to further the Sundom's agenda while keeping potential threats in check, evidently a storied practice of the tribe. Furthermore, the text makes no mentions of advisors needing to be of any particular social standing, potentially allowing those capable of their position to ascend farther than their birth would typically allow. Now as a spy master, perhaps Murad oversees these many advisors as well as agents of the tribe, placing him at the center of this network of pivotal information and influence, making him a truly indispensable resource to the Sun King. As he says, he likes to think of himself as a good listener. This past may also explain his title, an inquiry of Aloy he answers in a typically cryptic fashion. As an advisor, he may have manipulated many into carrying out various deeds while he himself never became directly involved, making him blameless in the eyes of those less informed, and at the very least not accountable to those more savvy of his methods. Though little more concerning Murad can be confirmed or even elaborated on, one thing is certain. Those truly skilled at manipulation will make it appear as if they never had any influence at all, a skill Vinasha has apparently come to know well, and one that she came to know through her master. Hopefully the full story of Blameless Murad is yet to be told, but I'm sure if he had his way, it's one that he alone will ever know. And that brings this chronicle to a close. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated, and if you really like what we're doing at the channel, come join our community and hit that subscribe button. Also consider supporting the channel on Patreon to help us create new series and to create more quality content just like this. Check out the link in the description. And if you have an interesting question or great idea for our next episode, let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, thanks for watching and keep questing.